What is going on, beautiful people of the world? My name is Garrett Wolf, and I am the host of the number one podcast for people who are trying to go from saggy flabs to six-pack abs. I've built my body over the last eight years, and in the last three years, I've helped hundreds of online clients shred unwanted fat and embody the best version of themselves. Now, let's jump right into today's show. What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to the Alpha Movement Podcast. This is the number one show for people who are trying to go from saggy flabs to six-pack abs, all without giving up the most enjoyable aspects of their life. In today's episode, we are going to be talking about how the journey is the destination. All right, guys, you already know the deal. If at any point during this episode you enjoy what I have to say or you take some value from this podcast, please screenshot my face. Share it to your Instagram stories, tag me at underscore Garrett Wolf, and I will reshare it to my story and send you a free gift. Other than that, guys, I want to talk to you today about how the journey is the destination, all right? Because I think a lot of people, a lot of people want things, but not a lot of people want to do what it takes to get there, to get the thing that they actually desire. For example, I'm seven weeks out of a fitness competition, right? I want to step on stage, I want to be tan, I want to hit the men's physique pose, and I want to just look like an absolute super villain up on that stage, right? So you think, what does it take to do that? What does it take to actually get there? Number one, you have to eat chicken, rice, and broccoli for basically every meal. Not breakfast. Breakfast is cream of rice with a scoop of protein powder. Then lunch and dinner, basically every meal after that, is going to be chicken, rice, and broccoli. Basically protein, carbs, and greens, right? So I have to eat that basically every single day. Okay, not too bad, not too hard. What else does it take? You have to hit your workouts incredibly intensely on very low energy, very low carb, and very low drive and motivation, right? Okay, so I've been struggling with that a little bit. The diet, it was a little bit hard at first, right? Maybe for the first week, it was sort of difficult. Then it got pretty easy. Now it's pretty easy. I actually like eating this way. It's fine, though it is very, very low calories. And that that incorporates to or not incorporates, that translates to low-ass energy in the gym, low-ass energy throughout my day, and not a lot of motivation to hit the gym hard, right? Usually, I'm hitting the gym hard as fuck, going to, like, failure on every single set, basically making it happen in my workouts, like, training hard as shit. That's how I usually train. I don't modulate intensity very well in my own workouts, given. But now I have low-ass energy, and I have to hit the gym on basically, like, not a lot of carbs, not a lot of starches. I basically just get rice and potatoes for carbs, right? So that's another thing that it takes to get to my destination, right? Okay, that's fine. I can do that. What's another thing that it takes? You have to lose a shit ton of strength because you're in a calorie deficit for an extended period of time, right? Before I hopped on this contest prep, I was already in a calorie deficit. I was already going for a cut. And this is one of the reasons I hopped on only 11 weeks out when I did was because I was already in a cut for like the past two months prior to that. I was already in a cut. I was already dropping weight. I was already making it happen, right? So I've been in a cut now for almost two and a half months, right? Two and a half months, and I'm going to be in a cut for about four months. And if you've ever been in a cut for four months, you understand that the strength you lose is drastic. I'm losing strength every single motherfucking day in the gym. I was pressing the 100-pound dumbbells for sets of 10 to 12 on bench press before the cut. Now I'm pressing like 60s and 70s. It's actually really depressing. It's like super depressing. It plays a lot of mind games in your head, right? Because you're you're getting strong. You're not getting stronger. You're getting weaker. You're getting more shredded. You're getting more cut. You're getting more peeled but you're getting weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker in the gym. So you're looking better and better, but you're getting weaker and weaker, which is kind of like a little mind fuck there for you. So that's another thing that it takes. Okay, fine. Getting weaker, whatever. I'll get the strength back eventually, right? I'll get the strength back down the line. That's all right. What's another thing that it takes? You need to practice posing every single day. This is something that I have been doing, but I could be doing it a lot more intentionally. I've been practicing posing every single day after the gym, but I struggle with hitting the poses and then knowing when to like when I've got it because here's the thing I have an online coach right for hitting these poses trying to practice these poses and a quick story for you guys which is actually really cool I was in the gym yesterday practicing my poses I joined a content gym right because again what does it take to get to my destination I was going to a commercial gym um, for a while but they don't let you take your shirt off they don't let you pose in front of the mirrors because they think that that's toxically masculine right disgusting 
Anyway, so I got a membership at a content gym so that I could take my shirt off at the end of my workouts and hit my poses. And this is like a bodybuilding content creator gym. Super cool, actually. I've never been to one of these before, a content creator bodybuilding gym, and now I'm never going to go back. Never going back to the, the fucking commercial gyms where there's old ass ladies on the treadmill trying to burn fat and like that's just not my jam anymore. I'm all about this content creation bodybuilder gym now at this point. So I was posing yesterday, back to the story, I was posing and another men's physique, a fellow OCB men's physique qualifier came up to me and he had won first place at his show. I think it was about two months ago. He had won first place in a men's physique show. And he's like, yo, like homie, are you training for men's physique? I was like, yeah, bro. Like, what about you? Like, do you do men's physique? He showed me, he's like, yeah, I just got first place at this OCB national, uh, OCB national fucking show that I just competed in. And he's like, yeah, dude, your pose looks pretty good, but like you should do this. You should raise your shoulder a little bit and then rest your lat down and kind of sink into it. And I was doing that in front of the mirror and he helped me kind of readjust my body, readjust my arm, kind of put it out a little more. It was more down and out, but now he got me doing like out and in and like kind of almost bracing. Like if you've ever done a bench press, right, you lock your, your shoulders together behind you. That's kind of what you do with a lat spread um, for the back pose and for the front pose on your right arm. Um, which is not the arm that's going to be on my shoulder on my hip. I mean, so the right arm is going to be kind of out rested on your back. Anyway, I don't need to get into the logistics of the posing, but he helped me out. And that was super cool, right? That would never happen at a normal gym. Never, ever happened one time at a commercial gym. One thing that did happen at a commercial gym was this guy I was posing in front of the mirror a couple weeks ago. And this guy, he literally looks at me and he goes, can you not do that in front of me? what the fuck? Are you serious? This guy was like my age. He, he looks at me posing, practicing men's physique poses that I'm competing for in seven weeks. And he looks at me and he goes, can you not do that in front of me? I was fucking flabbergasted. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? I'm competing for a show. You're just lifting for fun. And you're going to tell me not to practice in front of the mirror. Get the fuck out of here. Kind of disgusting. I can't believe that shit. I would never try to try to tear somebody down just because they're doing something different than I am. I just can't, I couldn't believe it, dude. I could not fucking believe it. But anyway, that's what it takes, right? So I'm posing in front of the mirror. I'm getting better at posing. It's, it's difficult. It's challenging, but it's something that I have to do, right? So these are the things that you kind of have to do. A couple other things that I have to do every day is weigh myself every single day. I have to drink a gallon of water. Um, and I have to walk 11,000 steps every single day, right? So those are some of the things that it takes for me on my journey to get to my destination. And that long-winded explanation that I just did for you guys is me telling you that I know exactly what the fuck it takes for me to step on stage in seven weeks. And I'm doing every single thing in my power to get done, to check off the list, every single thing that is on my daily habit list every day, because that's what it takes for me to step on stage and to have a godlike physique, frankly. So that's what I'm doing. So I know what it takes and that's what I'm doing. But I think a lot of you guys, I'm calling you directly the fuck out to the people watching the podcast right now. I think a lot of you guys want the destination without wanting the journey. You see, I want the journey. I want to have to eat all these foods. I want to have to weigh myself every day. I want to have to pose because I know that the journey is the destination. If you want to be a god at posing, if you want to be shredded, if you want to, you know, have a men's physique body, be able to step on stage looking like a fucking animal, then you have to do all these things. And I knew that, right? Because I've been in the fitness space for like eight years now. I knew exactly what it took. And I wanted that to happen. I wanted to go through that adversity so that I could get to the destination. But you're never going to get to the destination without the journey. So I'm asking you now, think about your goals. Think about your dreams. What do you want? Do you want to lose weight? Do you want to gain muscle? Do you want an athletic physique? Do you want to learn calisthenics? Do you want to be better at sprinting? What is it that you want? And once you figure out what it is that you want, you need to figure out what it takes to get there. And if you're not willing to do what it takes to get there, then you do not want the destination because you need to want the destination or you need to want the journey, excuse me, in order to get the destination. So you have no right to want the destination without wanting the journey because the journey is the direct path to the destination, right? There's no in between. There's no magic pill. There's nothing I can give you to give you the body of your dreams. There's nothing I can give you to make you just shred all your body fat overnight like a pill. I wish there was. I wish there was, but there's not. For example, 
I don't want to call anyone out in specific, but I'm running a lot of free challenges recently. And a lot of people sign up for these free challenges, right? And during my last challenge, um, I had two competitors in my last challenge who completed every single task on the list every single day, right? So 20% of the people that were in the challenge completed every single day the daily task. But 80% of people quit two or three days in. 80% of people sign up for this free challenge where you're meant to lose five to 10 pounds in two weeks. I give them everything they possibly need. I give them a diet plan, a workout plan. I give them daily habits, daily action steps. I give them macros. It's so customizable. It's so flexible. And 80% of people fall off the free challenge within the first goddamn week. Are you kidding me? Are you so diluted in your own dreams, so diluted in your own goals that you're not even willing to do what it takes, even though you claim to want to get to the destination? Do you have any idea how hard people work for this shit? How hard it is to actually get in shape? I am 156 pounds lean right now, and I've been training for eight years. Every single day I've been training for eight years, I, every day I get 150 grams of protein, every day I drink a gallon of water, every day I walk 11,000 steps plus, every day I take my supplements, my vitamins, I eat my chicken breast, I eat my fucking broccoli, and that is what it takes for me to step on stage. I've been training for eight fucking years, and I get 156 pounds lean, and you come up to me and you're like, oh, I want to get abs, like I really want to get in shape, I give you everything you need to lose five to ten pounds in two weeks and you quit within the first week are you fucking kidding me i'm calling you the fuck out because i know the people who are in my challenge watch my podcast because we talk about it all the time i'm calling you the fuck out what's going on bro and it's okay if you don't want the journey but don't tell me you want the destination if you're not willing to go on the journey all right, don't tell me you want to get in shape if you're not willing to walk 10,000 steps a day. Don't tell me you want to get a six pack if you're not willing to switch up your diet and adhere to the macro program given to you. Don't tell me you want to get better at sprinting if you're not willing to go outside in the morning every single day and sprint up and down your street. All right, don't tell me you want the destination if you don't even know what it takes to go on the journey. All right? I swear to God, another example, one of my clients I'm training right now, he's a new client and I don't want to, I'm not throwing anyone under the bus here. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to call anyone out, but he's on day two of the program. I just signed this motherfucker up. He's on day two in the Alpha Movement Academy and I gave him a macro plan of 2,500 calories. All right, and I'm like 2,500 calories is a good place for him to start because he's very overweight and he has a lot of progress to make and he's going for the year. He signed up for the year long plan. So to be healthy, to make sure that he sticks to the plan as promised so that you're not going in an aggressive cut so that you're not ruining your fucking metabolism so that you're not ruining anything. You can't lose. This guy wants to lose 100 pounds, right? And he originally told me he wanted to lose 100 pounds in four months. And I was like, brother, not fucking possible unless you want to do it incredibly unhealthily like you want to become anorexic you want to become bulimic you want to throw up your food after every single meal that you eat it then you're gonna need a year to cut a hundred pounds of body fat off your body in a healthy manner so i start him off slow at 2500 calories right and on day one this motherfucker misses his macros by a long shot. He eats his carbs over 50%, so he hit the 100% carbs, and then he adds 50% of his calories on top of the carbs, and he eats that, and then he, he had to take away 50% from his protein, right? So instead, of getting so instead of getting 200 grams of protein, he got 150. Instead of getting 150 grams of carbs, he got 200 grams of carbs. And I messaged him this morning, I was like, bro, why? Why are you setting yourself up for failure like this? We need to stick to the macro plan. And he goes, you know, I'm just not sure that I'm going to be able to lose weight on 2,500 calories. It's just hard for me to believe. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? Hard for you to believe. I told, I'm telling you exactly what it takes and you haven't even tried. You haven't even tried the journey and you, you claim to want the destination so bad. These people, they, they spew their fucking shit at me. They spew their shit and I love it, right? I'm not complaining. I'm just telling you how it is. It hypes me the fuck up because I want to help you. I want to help you navigate it. I want to help you figure it out. But these people spew their shit at me like they're, they, they want this, they want that 
not because of this reason. It's heartbreaking. It's gut-wrenching. It's terrible. This happened to me. I want to fix it. I want to fix it. I want to fix it. Okay, here's how you fix it. Here's how you fix it. You need to go on a diet plan. You need to have your macros in check. You need to drink a gallon of water. You need 10,000 steps a day. You need a workout plan that suits you. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Diet plan, workout plan, 10,000 steps a day, and a gallon of water. And you're going to hit your goal. As long as your macros are set correctly, as long as you can adhere to the workout plan, you're going to lose weight. You're going to get a six pack. You're going to hit your goal. Easy, right? Easy. But you can't fucking stick to it. And at the end of the day, I think you can't stick to it because you're so diluted in your own dreams. You're so clouded by your vision that you haven't even taken a step back and asked yourself, what does it take for me to get to this destination? And am I willing to go on the journey to reach the destination? And if you're not, that's fine. I'm not saying I'm better than you. I'm not saying you're a shithead, even though you probably are. I'm not saying you're worthless. I'm not saying any of that. I'm saying identify a goal, identify a vision, a destination, figure out the journey, figure out what it takes to get there. And if you're not willing to go on the journey, then you, my friend, are not willing. And frankly, you are not worthy of the destination. All right, guys, that brings us to the end of today's podcast episode. This has been a banger. This has been fun. You guys already know the deal. If at any point during this episode, you enjoy what I had to say, or you think what I had to say is valuable, then please screenshot my face. Share it to your motherfucking Instagram stories. Tag me at underscore Garrett Wolf, and I will reshare it to my story and send you a free gift. Other than that, guys, it has been your boy Garrett Wolf, and I will see you all in the next podcast episode. Peace, peace. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Hopefully you got some value. If you did get value and you want to learn a little bit more about how you can go from saggy flabs to six pack abs, just head over to my Instagram at underscore Garrett Wolf. DM me the word six pack and I'll reach out to you and see if I can help. Again, thank you guys so much for tuning in today and I will see you all in the next podcast episode. Peace, peace.